All right, hello everybody. I wanted to do a quick slideshow for you, and uh, this slideshow is going to be titled How to Build a Ship. And basically, it's a metaphor to help you grow your network marketing business. And uh, my name is Rob West. Um, basically, when I talk about building a ship as a metaphor, I'm, I'm not talking about a literal ship, and especially not this ship right here, the ship in a bottle too tiny um, and I'm not talking about the big cruise liner ship and uh, and most of all I'm not talking about this kind of ship right here that that's not a literal ship again um, but I'm talking about the kind of ship that um, most people refer to uh, financially or their dream um, so in a local restaurant I found this sign that was up and, and while it's kind of humorous I had to get a picture of it and it's really kind of sad because honestly most people have this type of mentality uh, it, financially and uh, so they the sign says I hope my ship comes in before my dock rots okay and, and people some people most people like I said don't have a lot of hope most people are just hoping they can win the multi-state lottery or the state lottery and uh, some people do but uh, chances of winning are actually like you know you have a better chance of getting struck by lightning and um, so so chances are not good that people are gonna win that or on an individual basis but it does happen um, but the quote I want to share with you as a metaphor too and uh, by Antoine de Saint Exupery, I think that's how you say his name. Sorry, um, he was an aviator, and he was uh, wrote the book, The Little Prince. So, but anyways, he uh, said, if you want to build a ship, don't drum up the men together wood, uh, divide the work, and give orders. You know, he said instead, teach them to yearn. Here's the key word I want to focus on here on this slideshow, is a uh, teach them to yearn for the fast and endless sea and uh, I think that's kind of interesting um, and basically that's what we want to do in our network marketing group we want to 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 teach individuals new people that come in to yearn for the for for what what do they want to yearn for well as a team um, everybody's gonna be different nobody's gonna be exactly the same so we need to find out what people really want we need to ask them you know basically what's your dream uh, you know everybody has a dream so you can ask them do you have a dream what's your dream that's what we want to focus on you know some people just want a dream home um, some people really focus on a dream vacation you know others may want to travel around the world and see different places you know that may be a dream for them. Some people just simply want to have more time with their family and uh, have a potato sack race in the backyard if they want to, uh, because they're not busy working on the weekends. Um, or some people just want to find that great partner, somebody their dream partner. They're looking for somebody. Um, some people want a new car. You know, for me it just happens to be a DeLorean time machine. I mean, who doesn't want a DeLorean time machine, right? <laughs> um, and you know, uh, but basically what he's saying in this quote, he says, if you really want to motivate people, if you really want to just, just in, to really get some action out of people, you want to teach them to yearn. So in order to teach them to yearn, you have to, you have to find out what it is that makes them tick. What is their dream? So uh, that's basically what I want to ask people. Um, again, this is this is probably old hat stuff for a lot of people. But in the quote, I just love that quote that he said: "Teach people to yearn." You know, and, and that that's what really, in my opinion, will really help out. So as long as people are staying on focus on that individual dream that they have, and you're constantly reminding them, you know, what's your dream? What's your dream? What are you really work, working for? And and we've heard leadership say this, and, and I'm thankful for this. And this is something that we really have a blessing in our particular group. You know, we have people like Erwin McKinn, uh, who who steps up and says, you know, and asks the same question: What's your dream? You know, what do you really want? So so such a great blessing that that type of leadership is within everybody that we've been exposed to has that type of uh, spirit in them really care so basically you know by doing this we can make a big splash we can make a, a big effect by focusing on really what people want and finding out what their dream is and when we do that we can uh, ride the big wave 
on to where we want to go. So really, I want to thank you for, you know, watching this presentation. And if you found it helpful, uh, give me a shout out and reply back with a video comment if you'd like. And uh, I appreciate you for watching and have a blessed day.